As you can see, if we press T and we try to type in here, we have World Edit installed. We have a bunch of things in here. So if you want to learn how to download and install World Edit, which I have no idea what I'm doing right here, guys, I have no idea how to use World Edit. So don't 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 be mad at me. All you have to do is watch this video until the end. I'm gonna teach you not only how to install this mod, but how to fix any issues you might face along the way to get this mod working properly in Minecraft 1.20.4. Let's get started. And the first step for downloading and installing World Edit is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install this mod. Now, this is an in-depth guide on how to install this mod, and we don't cover just one way of installing this mod, but we cover two different ways of installing this mod. However, in this video, we're gonna follow one way of installing this mod, and that will be downloading the mod through CurseForge. Downloading the mod through CurseForge is not gonna be complicated, and all you have to do is to scroll down and click on this green button right here, the one that says CurseForge. That will redirect you over here, where you're going to click on Files, and then here, you're going to look for the version that you desire. In this video, we're installing 1.20.4, I assume most of you want to install 1.20.4 as well. As you can see, if you hover over Forge, this is a Forge and Fabric mod. So I'm assuming it could also work with NeoForge. If you're using NeoForge, I'm assuming it's also going to work with NeoForge. However, you are for sure granted the usage with Fabric and Forge. Once you found the version that you want, go ahead and click on the little three dots right here and click download file. If you're using Fabric or Forge, it doesn't matter. You could download the same file and it will work for both. It's compatible with both of the mod loaders. After five seconds, your file will download automatically. In my case, it's asking me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download right away. Now that the mod downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. If you're using Chrome, you'll find it here in this little arrow. If you're using any other browser, I don't know. You probably know your browser better than me. Go ahead and drag and drop that file into your desktop. This is a world edit mod 1.20.4. And at this point, if you already have Fabric or Forge installed, maybe you have watched one of our guides in the past and you already have a mod loader installed. All you have to do then is drag and drop this file into your mods folder. And that's it. You're ready to play world edit. If you're using Fabric, just drop it into the Fabric mods folder with the Fabric API as well. If you're using Forge or NeoForge, just go ahead and drop it into your mods folder. However, if you don't have Forge installed or Fabric installed, I'm going to teach you how to install one of those so you can play this mod. We're going to be installing Forge just because Forge is a little bit faster to install because it only takes one step and you don't have to download any other mod library in order to use World Edit. What you're going to do to install Forge is click on that third link in the description. And this is a very, very in-depth guide. We may have an index in here because of how long this guide is. However, if you just want to follow along and do this real quick, all you have to do is to scroll down and click where it says download Forge here. That will redirect you to the Forge website where you're going to select the most recent version, or rather, I should say the matching version for World Edit. We downloaded World Edit 1.20.4, so we're going to select Forge 1.20.4. Once you're here, once you selected the right version, go ahead and click on Install It. That will redirect you over here, where after five seconds, you will get a button right here on the top right that says Skip. Just wait five seconds. As you can see, there's a timer and everything. And you, just said that you should see the skip button, go ahead and click on it. That'll start the download automatically. Again, it's always going to ask me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download automatically. Go ahead and drag and drop that file, either from your browser or your downloads folder in your computer into your desktop. The reason I drop it into your desktop, it's not nothing special, not anything special. It's just so it's easier for me guys to show you and it's easier to follow along the process without being confused with a bunch of other files, right? So once we have Forge, we can go ahead and minimize the browser. Don't close it, just minimize it because we might need to use it. And the reason we might need to use it is because these are jar files and in order to install Forge, you might need to update Java. If you want to check if you need to update Java, all you have to do is double click on Forge. If you double click on Forge and you get the installer to open like this, then you're good. You don't have to update Java. But if you double click on Forge and your installer doesn't open, then you need to update Java. But don't worry, because I'm going to leave you a guide in the description on how to update to Java 17, as well as how to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix is a necessary step after installing Java. And I know it's necessary because I recently updated to Windows 11. And when I updated to Windows 11, Windows 11 doesn't come with Java. So I had to install Java and my jar files weren't working yet. By the way, these are jar files. As you can see, my jar files weren't working even after I installed Java. So I literally had to run the jar fix and that fixed the issue. So those two guides are going to be in the description, how to install Java 17, as well as how to run a jar fix. Okay, so they're, they're super simple. It's like the three step process and you'll get everything working. Let's assume that most of you got the mod to open, the mod installer to open. All you have to do here is click on install client, which should be selected automatically and then click OK and wait for Forge to install. And while Forge is installing, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. I mean, Apex Hosting is already every day's sponsor. If you want to use World Edit online and you don't want to create a server manually, you don't want to put at risk your computer or your IP address, they will make everything for you so you don't have to do it yourself. With a click of a button, you could add mods, you could add mod packs, you could add anything that you want to your Java server or if you need 
need a bedrock server, you could also do it with Apex Hosting. The great thing is that if you use the first link in the description, you'll get 25% off. And let's get back into the tutorial. Forge has successfully installed. We're going to go ahead and click OK once we get that sign in there. And then you could even delete the Forge installer. You're ready to add world, edit to the world. You're also going to get a text file in here. Go ahead and delete that too. Go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. By the way, you needed to have your Minecraft launcher closed when you were trying to install Forge. If you didn't have your Minecraft launcher closed, you might have some issues. So if you had your Minecraft launcher open, just go ahead and close it and then install Forge again if you had any issues while trying to install Forge. Now, if you install Forge properly, you should see it selected here automatically. In my case, I didn't have it selected automatically because I already had Forge installed for previous videos. But if you have never installed Forge, then it will be selected here automatically. If Forge doesn't come up in there, however, you could always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. If that doesn't fix it for you or doesn't make it appear, you could always click on new installation, name this whatever you want, and then where it says version, select Forge. Just look for Forge in here and that should fix it for you. Okay, I'm assuming, however, that you got Forge to appear right away in here. How do you add world edit? Well, all you have to do now is click on installation, head over to Forge, and then click on this little folder that appears right here. Once this folder opens, you're going to find the mods folder. There's a lot of files in here, but don't worry. You're looking for the specific folder called mods. Go ahead and open that folder up. If you don't have the mods folder, however, you could always create it yourself. And I'm going to go ahead and delete mine. You could always right click, click new, click folder and type MODS mods. I actually named it wrong. I named it MPDS. So you got to name it mods MODS. Go ahead and open that folder up. And all you have to do now is drag and drop that file that we downloaded earlier. Drag and drop the world edit. That's why I said earlier on this video that if you already had Forge installed on Fabric, this was super simple. All you had to do is download the mod and add it into here. But I know that a lot of you don't have any mod loader installed and that's why I make the whole guide, right? I try to make the video as complete as possible. Once we added the mod in there, all we have to do now is click play next to Forge. That will give you this little prompt in here. Click that you understand the risk of playing modern Minecraft and then click play again. You might have to wait on the install and that's just because Forge is being updated within the Minecraft launcher. You just gotta wait couple seconds and the game will open and I will actually see you inside the game. As you can see, Forge is loading right now. It's opening up and we know this is Forge because we have this little Forge icon right here, the Forge logo and everything else is loading. Just give it a second. As you can see, it says the amount of RAM that it's using right now. It's using two gigabytes, which is enough for the world edit mod. However, if you need to give it more gigabytes, you could always change that within the Minecraft launcher. Once you're in here, you know you're in Forge because it says it everywhere, right? Like on the top, it says Forge beta. Down here in the bottom left, it says Forge. And we get the mods menu on everything here. If we click on the mods menu, we shall see world edit. Once we know world edit is here, we're still going to go ahead and launch our world. Anyways, once you're in a world, if you press T and we try to type something with the slashes, we get the brush command and we get all of that, which I have no idea how to use this really. Like, I think you need a stick. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, you need to get yourself a wood stick, right? I don't know. You could correct me. I don't know, guys. I don't know how to use world edit, but I do know how to install it. And that's what I'm here for. I already taught you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.